Well, we're going to have the author on in a second here. His name's Jim O'Connor, and we want to take this very seriously, Mark, of because uh, I, I uh, along with the rest of the guys around here, we do believe that uh, there's too much cursing going on in society today, and uh, there's another way to handle that by using some of these replacement words. Uh, Jim O'Connor taught us that instead of saying the S word, you say shoot. Instead of saying effed up, you say uh, bungled, right? Yeah, very uh, it, clever. Was it bungled? Uh, I forgot already. Bungled. Yes. And uh, balderdash instead of the BS, and uh, and gargoyle instead of a hole. I want to ask him uh, and uh, you know, why, like, what's the, sure. the purpose of this? Yeah, this is a very, yeah. very important uh, to be uh, more topic. Polite uh, kind of a thing. That's well. Let's say hi to Jim O'Connor joining our show today. Jim, yeah, Mr. O'Connor, if you will. How are you? I'm just fine. How you doing? Welcome aboard, Jim. Thanks for uh, calling our show. So uh, uh, you're. Your book got our attention today. Yeah, well, yeah, it uh, amuses people, for one thing. You actually uh, came down to New York, and you were in the subways, kind of like uh, giving people a lesson on uh, cursing? Well, I was just down there uh, trying to get an example of uh, what causes all the cursing. It's pretty hectic down there. Pretty hectic indeed, my friend. Yeah. Indeed. And uh, so what... what actually is the, the purpose of replacing these uh, curse words with the words that you suggest? Well, it's not really so much replacing the words, it's learning to cope with the situation, uh, because when you get angry and swear, it doesn't really accomplish much. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm, so uh, mm -hmm. if you use other words that are... Well, Jim, uh, a lot of people would disagree with you. Mm -hmm. I think it accomplishes a lot. It gets uh, a, little, a little stress out, makes you feel a little better inside that you could actually react to the situation. It does. It's sort of a defensive thing. It's a, you know, your ego is hurt when someone bumps into you and you don't swear back. But and I think it adds more stress to the whole environment because if, if you're someone else and you hear two people yelling and swearing at each other, it adds to your stress. Oh. You just deal with it and accept, you know, the guy didn't intend to bump into me. He was just in a hurry and it just happens. It's, uh, it's chaotic and then this, this goes on. Well, uh, and you, you've uh, suggested replacement words. Uh, the first one for the S word? Yeah. Saying shoot? In New York City, that could uh, get you in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, you know. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. oh good you. gosh. I, I wasn't sure you had a sense of humor. I was a little worried to use that type of, you know, material on you, Mr. O'Connor. Uh, that's right. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, it's really, it's just a question of uh, two things. Civility. You yeah. know, we, we need a little more manners. Yeah, we do, I think. I think the city, uh, you know, we were, we're very impersonal. And um, I don't think uh, people really take into consideration other people's feelings. So uh, to hear people cursing like that, I, I believe I've always thought it uh, it rude. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, some of these suggestions for uh, replacement words, I think, gets the point across. But like you said, civility. Yeah, it is, and I'm not totally opposed to swearing. I mean, it's it oh. happens. Uh, it, it's part of our language. It's one way we communicate, but. Uh, it really doesn't do that much good. There's, you, you can you can get by without doing it. Yeah, absolutely. Once, once in a while, you know, someone makes you mad or you get impatient, it, it just flies out of your mouth. But, what are, What are some of the replacement words you you suggest? Well, you know, you can use any word you want because you know most of us have replacement words. Uh, uh, you know, you're in a situation where you know you can't swear; it's just totally unacceptable. So you you say shoot, you say darn it, you say nuts. You know, you just say whatever it is. Mm. But uh, like the f word, mm, everyone knows you use the f word. And you yeah, know, fudge doesn't work. Uh, I, I admit to that. But it's when you everyone's always effing everything up instead of bungling it up or botching it up or messing it up. Uh, it's just a crass word that's getting worn out. Yeah. Well, uh, um, I know you have uh, shoot for the s word, uh, bungled instead of the f word. Yeah. Or f effed up. Uh, it should well, be bungled. Well, the whole point is like uh, another one is uh, that's a bunch of balderdash or that's hogwash or that's uh, hogwash, yeah. Hogwash nonsense, rubbish. These are some of the classics. I, yeah. I, I want to be very careful how I say this, uh, but is there one for, um, you know, uh, when you call someone a, uh, a D? Uh, yeah, you can say jerk, you know, say you're uh, uh, um, a, a, you know, one of my favorite words is, is uh, I, you know, uh, we can't think of it right now. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, uh, what's the monster up on the building? So oh, the, uh, that, 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 gargoyle. yeah, the gargoyle. A gargoyle, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a funny word. I think gargoyle is a funny word, and it's, mm -hmm. you know, if you know what an argo gargoyle is, it is a kind of a creepy looking creature. And, you know, if you call someone a gargoyle, you're less likely to get punched in the face. So, so what? Instead of uh, calling them like an A? Yeah. Or, uh, or an A hole? 
yeah. So you think uh, a gargoyle's that ugly, I guess, huh? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it just, uh, you know, it, it gets the message across without being too uh, outrageous. I like just, using the word clump. Yeah, clump is a good one. That's a good one. Uh, Jim, uh, we started talking about this about 15, 20 minutes ago when it was brought to our attention. That's why we had to search you out. The phones are lit, my friend. Is that right? Yes, let's say hi to um, Steve from Yellowstone. Hello? Steve. Hello, is this Mr. O'Connor? Yes. Hi, how are you? I'm, I'm really enjoying the discussion. Good. I find that there's far too much uh, profanity used in daily life. But I, I was wondering, like, a lot of my, my, my friends will curse because they try to, like, navigate my website, and they can't because it's so poorly done. What do I do if I have... Change your website. A lot of friends cursing. They're cursing on... How are they cursing on your website? But by... just, no, no, I mean, like... Uh, Steve, what do you mean? We, yeah. In general, they're cursing, and it's very difficult. Are they on the phone with you? Or are they? You, huh. Yes. I, I, first words? Steve, How we're looking. Ask my friends mm -hmm. not to use that type of language around me because they're going. They're going to laugh at me. Oh, okay. They're going to laugh at you. Yeah, or or just think I'd be disrespectful. I don't know what to do. Well, just uh, ask them to be a little more polite if they. <laughs> Hogwash is what Jim does in the tub after he abuses the gargoyle of a fat girl. <laughs> Ramon, Jim O'Connor's mother, started a video called Two Girls, One Cup of Bolshevik. <laughs> Ramon, but the next time he's on the subway, he should be given a lesson by Bernhard Getz. Boy, he's a very upset man. Oh my goodness, sir, uh, Jim! I apologize. A lot of, a lot of times I get callers like that. That, uh, you know, he's a very yeah, uh, yeah. Well, for the last, of course, he's going for the last. But yeah, I think he, I think he was. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Um, uh, there was something else I wanted to ask you about this, uh, the, this uh, cussing. You got, a, you got a book or something there, Jim? Yeah, cuss control. It's a complete book on how to curb your cursing. Okay. Not mm -hmm. how to stop, but how to curb it, how to control it, how to be more civilized. You know, see, the thing is, when you allow yourself to get upset, you just, yeah. you, you know, you think it feels good. Yeah. But it, it, it only, help, it doesn't help that much. It's it, better just to deal with stuff the best you can. You can't do it all the time. All right, let's take another phone call. We got Paul from uh, Tottsville. Uh, Paul. Hello. Hi, Paul. You're on with Jim O'Connor. Yeah, uh, I'm a teacher. I teach grade school, and uh, it's so difficult to uh, to get the kids to talk right. I mean, when, when you, you, you you mention that to them, they, they uh, start to think you're like an old fuddy buddy. Yeah, well, the you kids, know, it's very difficult to uh, ask them. I'm sure it is. The kids are growing up in a cursing culture. They're probably even hearing yeah, it from their but parents. What, what do you what do you do to keep them from doing that and to keep them from tattling and things like that? Well, you say, well, did you... Ramon! Jim O'Connor is a balder douche! <laughs> Ramon! I'd like to kick this fruit right in the clump! <laughs> Jim O'Connor has to be taken to the emergency room to have a trophy removed from his gargoyle! I can't understand. <laughs> After a date, Jim O'Connor has a load of shoot on his clutch. <laughs> the same joke twice, this doesn't work, guys. <laughs> Jim O'Connor should bungle his mother in the gun. <laughs> you know, when you yell like that, he can't even understand what, he, what you're saying. Yeah, I know. He, uh... That's the same joke twice. Uh, same I know. Guys. You guys gotta be more original. Same guy. <laughs> I, no, I apologize. Sometimes they, they get through twice like that through the screen or using a different voice. Uh, I think he was Mr. O'Connor. Yeah. Well, so. I think from the other side of the studio. Yeah. Mm. That's a shame. Well, it kind of ruined the whole uh, Jeez, experience, yeah. I'm thinking. Whole vibe. So, All right. As long well, as you guys are having fun, you know. Sometimes yeah. swearing is fun. Sometimes it's funny. Well, sometimes. Yeah, but... you know, the worst is when you swear at somebody and that's what he's doing. So that's kind of crude, but... I mean, yeah, that is. That is. That, lips that to God's is. ears. Wait, uh, uh, you th he was cursing on you, you think? It was hard to tell. It's, the sound was very bad, but yes, yeah. I have a hunch that's what he was doing. Yeah, yeah. That would be... What do you think? No, because we're not allowed to have curses on uh, the radio. So. I hope you didn't. I didn't hear any. Uh, hope it didn't go through. 
probably don't have very many listeners, so it doesn't matter. So. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. Uh, well, way yeah. to hurt feelings. <clears throat> why? Why are you taking that on us? Because yeah, the phone screener didn't know I, what he was doing. Somehow I get the feeling it's an in-studio call. Really? Yeah. How, how is that possible? Well, you know, I've uh, been on the radio before. I know how it works. Really? Yeah, I say you got to be original. Do you, you cunt? <laughs> 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 I gotta get to work. Thanks for calling. Uh, yeah. I bet you do. I hope your I hope a uh, man comes and removes your hat. <laughs> <laughs> hope you get a mouthful of potato flakes at work. You silly goose. <laughs> oh, so long, gargoyle. <laughs> and this stupid replacement words. Oh, uh, and then he's got to say that we don't have listeners. Right. Exactly. Really? Jesus. Because that, guys, that's not working. Same joke twice. Trust yeah. me, it, it, it worked. Perfectly, of course it did. did. Perfectly well for the faithful listeners. Yeah, I thought those were two home runs, Jimbo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we have to agree to disagree on that one. <laughs> Take your euphemisms and hang yourself, <laughs> schmuck. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of boulder dash. Is it? Uh, boulder dash. <laughs> Shut up, idiot. <laughs> Bringing his mother into it. <laughs> Her gargoyle should be. Uh, what was the hogwash? That was brilliant. Oh, because you just read that. Reread um, that. Well, the caller said that hogwash yes. is what Jim does in the tub after he abuses yeah. the gargoyle with a fat <laughs> yeah. girl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, these, these, <laughs> inside of the tub looks like tomato soup. <laughs> oh. Do you think he hung oh. the phone up and just like started going off? Saying those effing a Oh, of course he stuff. did. Yeah. No, he probably didn't curse. Uh, I'm yeah. thinking he was probably cursing. No, <laughs> uh, those hash browns.